that's, as you see, now closed, that only got 325 supporters. This was the demand for radiation monitoring of our food, water, and air that I put out just uh, a few days after Fukushima blew up. And uh, it's sad to say that out of my social network, uh, well, three years ago, it was probably around 50 or 60,000 individuals in my social network, cumulative, now it's somewhere around 80 or 90,000, I believe, maybe more. But only 325 people were able to grasp the reality. Um, I don't know if that's because I didn't reach enough people, although this was, uh, the petition was up for over a year, and it was set to auto-tweet from my account. And again, there are 325 supporters who, who probably shared it with other people. And I'll show you that, you know, all the comments over two years ago. Nobody acted on it, basically. Thank you to those that did. And, and, and you know, I'm glad you're awake, but we're all going to die now. <laughs> you know, no, not really, but... W um, so anyway, point of the video. Maybe now you'll wake up. Maybe now, after everything's already radiated, and it's really too late to do anything else but hope that you started to detox in time so that you don't have the long-term effects, but more importantly, that your children and or grandchildren, will they even be born? Do you know how much the infant death rate has spiked since Fukushima? Neither do I, but I remember in the first three months, it was anywhere from 17.5 to 35%. And actually, the East Coast, if you're thinking you were safer, the 35% increase in infant death was in Pennsylvania. 17.5%, if memory serves me correctly, on the West Coast. That was 90 days or so after Fukushima blew up. So, in the inbox today, Berkeley official requests Health Department inform the public of elevated risk from Fu Fukushima contamination. Council to vote on a plan next week. <laughs> okay. Um, another little post over here from E&E &E News. I want you to see the headline of. I'll link you to this and you can get to the rest of it. We saw plutonium from Fukushima out in New Mexico desert. Local and regional contaminations of plutonium environment have resulted from nuclear accident. Do I need to go back and play the audio from Obama lying to you? just a day or two after Fukushima blew up to remind you that he blatantly lied to you. And are you con still convinced with all the science and technology and smart people we have in the world and all the information that Obama has at his access that that day that Fukushima blew up he didn't shit his pants and say we're screwed, lie to everybody because we don't know how to control them anymore? That he didn't honestly know? That the that, that scientist that he relies on didn't know please please it's like when there's six cookies in the jar and you only have one child and later on there's four cookies and you know that you didn't eat any no one else has been to your house the child ate the cookies Obama blatantly lied to you in that withholding of evidence or information is killing you and killing your children and killing their children before they're even born. Now, my next question is, why are you going to allow any government, whether it be your own or anyone else's, to kill your children? You think people are coming here to kill your children, so you have allowed this government to go ch kill their children. And the whole time your government's killing your children too. I, I don't have words for this anymore, people. It's, it's blatant in your face that if we don't all rise up and take back 
this current illegal corrupt regime terroristic regime that's in control of this nation before somebody else comes to kill us our government will do it and they already are and the proof is there now I've been putting out videos since day one of Fukushima and I've slacked off lately because there's so many others that are doing it and I've come to the point that I don't think you give a fuck but maybe I'll put this last video out hoping I'm wrong and then hoping that you're just scared to death of the facts and remind you that you can either run from the facts and let them kill you while your back is turned or you can face those facts maybe live through it and at least know that you did the right thing all that money you've saved all those gold certificates all those stocks those aren't going with you the right thing and the truth lives on forever if you want to take a piece of that with you then you need to decide what do I need to do now voting your way out of this is never going to happen the system existed from the beginning and you voted your way to hear repetition of the same behavior expecting a different result is the definition of insanity and I'd like to think that my family which is you is not insane I'm not going to start the petition over it's not worth my time Berkeley if they are making the demand of the government publicly it means they've already made the demand of the government quietly and they know that people are going to die and are dying and that you need to know if you couldn't trust my word back then on, on the effects of this and if you couldn't believe in all those other people those nuclear activists that, I, that I've come in communication with just a few of them and I know there's so many more I can't keep up with them Kevin Blanche, Christina Consolo, Miss Milky the Clown uh, Jim Lee, the relic over at the Truth Seekers Network. You guys are inspirational. The rest of you that have seen these Fukushima videos and are sitting there saying, I can't do anything about this. First of all, you're wrong. Second of all, you disgust me. I love you, but you disgust me right now. So anyway... I don't have all the answers, um, but I know that something has to be done. In the current regime that's in control of this country, which I, I cannot identify by name, needs to be replaced. I do not recognize it as the United States government. First of all, we're not United States anymore. <laughs> we're a bunch of land masses lumped under the authority of a piece of paper. So let's rectify that the link to this post 57 and a half percent of Americans are terrorists will be below please read through this and especially focus on my thoughts of how we fix this at the end of it much love many thanks and I'll see you soon